Hey there, this is a video on green screening slash chroma keying. Um, it's pretty simple to do with Final Cut Pro 10. I'm doing it on an iMac and this is, they've made it pretty simple. The, you know, the interface is kind of like iMovie, so if you know anything about iMovie, well then this will be pretty easy for you. If not, it will still be easy. Um, okay, I'm going to add the movie to the timeline. Let's see, I'm going to right click on it and then just add it straight to the timeline. By the way, I shot this on a coffee table with a green piece of poster board I got from Walmart for 77 cents. So you can do this with the same. You don't need a big giant green screen unless you're going to be shooting yourself in the video or whatever. But um, I'm going to delete the audio. This is a, a video that I made on a Cydia review on a tweak you can get from Cydia basically a lock screen but anyway all right I'm gonna click over here and go down to keying then click on keyer and drag it over to my video clip that's in my timeline you're gonna see it wipe out the green screen instantly like that it's pretty easy there's gonna be a few bad spots in there but I'm gonna show you how to get them out it's really simple you'll be surprised Okay, I'm going to drag my picture down that's going to be my background instead of the green screen. I'm just going to have this image. You can do this with video or images. I'm just doing it with an image. I'm going to place the image underneath the video and drag it to the length of the video. So it, of course, will show the entire video. All right, we got it there. And now I'm going to kind of scroll through here and show you how to get rid of the bad spots. It's a little time consuming. It's really not that long. I mean, basically, you see how hard it is. You just click on the um, sample color up there in the top right hand where you see the red dots. See the bad spot right there? Well, I'm going to go over here and click on the sample color right there and then click on the bad spot. And that's how easy it is to get rid of the bad spots that you didn't get rid of with the keyer. So you may have to drag that to totally get rid of them. That's how simple it is. Couldn't get any more simpler. Final Cut Pro 10, you've made my life easy. All right, I'm going back through the video, looking for more bad spots. There's one. Click on the sample color. Drag the little red dot to you get rid of what you want gone. Then you go through your video and look for more. There we go, there's another one. Drag it. I mean, that's, that's pretty simple. Even people that don't know anything about green screens can do pretty good. The hardest part of a green screen is your lighting once you shoot it. But this program here, I didn't have the best of lighting. And you see, I'm getting rid of all the green screen. Pretty simple. It's just the, the hardest part is going through the video and stopping it on the parts that you want to clear up. The parts that, that didn't get the full effect. Didn't, the green screen didn't go all the way out. So you just click, keep keep sorry keep clicking on sample color as you go through there and then just click on the bad spot and you may have to drag the little red dot to totally knock it out but it's pretty simple and I guess I'll go ahead and go through this whole video here just so you can kind of see my repetition and because I know when I watch videos sometimes I have to go back and watch it and watch it and watch it and I keep forgetting what they said in it this is pretty simple you just scroll through your video look for your bad spot Click on sample color, click over there on the part that's bad. Sometimes you have to drag the little red dot to really totally knock out. Oh, there's a pretty good bad spot there. Let's see, go over here, click on sample color. Now watch me drag the red dot. Simple, simple. Click the red, click the thing again, sample color, then click on the other side. So if you have it on both sides, you may have to click on sample color a couple of times to knock each part out frame but it's it's simple trust me um, I hope this video will help you if there's any more videos you want to see let me know and I'll try to make them this I haven't really made any tutorials on iMovie or Final Cut Pro I'm pretty new at Final Cut Pro I've just started using it like a week ago and this this right here I'm glad I, I got it because it's so simple 
mean, it's going to make us look professional and we don't even know what we're doing. Ha! Huh. You don't know what you're doing, you wouldn't be watching this video. And trust me, I don't know what I'm doing either, but um, this is one way to learn is to watch other people's videos and I've learned a lot from watching videos. But as you can see, I'm still doing the same thing here. Sorry this video is kind of long, but I just wanted you to see and remember how you do this. Also, if your little window's not showing up, it has your sample color and all that that I've been clicking on, click on the little blue eye that's your inspector. That will make the window pop up where you can see your keyer, just in case yours isn't on your screen. But I'm doing the same thing, clicking right there, dragging that, and getting rid of it, click on the other side. Pretty simple. And okay, let's see. We'll get through here in just a second. I'm going to put a link to the original video so you can see. I thought it turned out pretty good for somebody not knowing what they're doing with the green screening. This program here makes it pretty simple. The hardest part is going to get your green, just getting your green screen, which I used poster board from Walmart. I have a green screen that I can, I've done a few more uh, green screens about two or three years ago that came out pretty good. And that was, I don't even remember what, I think I used Pinnacle on the PC for that which now that I'm using MacBook and an iMac, I can never, ever use PC again to do this. This is so simple. Anyway, you see how hard it was? I just went through there, clicked on sample color. You know, the effect is keyer that I'm, that I'm in right now. And then you just click on the sample color and knock out all your bad parts, drag your little red dot, and that's pretty much it. I mean. It doesn't get much simpler than this. I appreciate y'all watching. Oh, and also over here to the right, you can um, make other adjustments. Like there's your green screen. Invert your video and see what it looks like now. You know, you may experiment with all these. Like there's the strength of the green screen, or the effect of it anyway. And um, just different little items here that you can use to adjust your video to either help it or sometimes hurt it. I found it best to leave it alone because I really hadn't gotten into anything difficult yet. But anyway, as you can see, this is a pretty simple task. This makes green screening really easy. Chroma keying, whatever you want to call it. Um, I appreciate y'all watching this video. And if there's anything I can make a video on that may help y'all, let me know and I'll do my best. Um, as you can see, it's just a repeated process that you've got to go through. I guess I said that right. Anyway, who cares? Just wanted to show y'all how to do a green screening slash chroma key. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to put a link to the video, how it came out in the end.